A bank features a savings account that has an annual percentage rate of 3.4% with interest compounded quarterly. Ashley deposits $2,000 into the account. We first want to know what equation can be used to determine the account balance after t years, and then what the account balance would be after four years. The compounder interest formula is given here below, where P is the principal or starting amount, R is the annual interest rate expressed as a decimal, N is the number of compounds per year. Notice it occurs here and here. So in this case, since the interest is compounded quarterly, and there are four quarters in one year, N would be equal to four. If it was monthly, N would be 12. T is time in years, and A is the amount after time T. So for this situation, we'd have the equation A equals the starting amount, which is $2,000, times the quantity 1 plus the annual interest rate expresses a decimal. 3.4% as a decimal would be 0.034. We drop the percent symbol and divide by 100 or with a decimal point to the left two places. Divided by N, the number of compounds per year. It's compounded quarterly and there are four quarters per year so N is 4. The exponent is going to be n times t. Again, n is 4, so we have 4t as our exponent. So notice by dividing the annual interest rate by 4, this would be the quarterly interest rate. And then multiplying 4 times the number of years, this exponent would be the number of quarters. Now let's go ahead and simplify this. We'd have a equals 2,000 times 1 plus 0 0.034 divided by 4. This is going to be 1 plus 0.0085, so we have 1.0085 raised to the power of 4t. So this would be the equation that would give us the account balance after t years. So if we want to know the account balance after four years, we're just going to substitute 4 for t. So the amount of money in the account would be 2,000 times 1 plus 0.0085 raised to the 4 times 4 power, but that would be the 16th power. So let's go and determine this value. We'll round to the nearest cent. So we'll have 2,000 times 1.0085 raised to the power of 4 times 4, or 16. So the account balance would be $2,290 and five cents.